Hey guys, welcome back to another video with your girl Michelle. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I detangle my dry, matted, natural hair. Sometimes we just get a little lazy. I'm not dealing with it today. Thou shall not neglect thy natural hair. Because this is the end result. I'm going to be 100% honest. It's been six days and my hair has been in the same bun without any moisture, without anything. Sometimes I just don't feel like doing my hair. Natural hair can be very time consuming, but I can't take it anymore because my hair is giving straw. It's giving breakage. It's giving thirsty. I'm going to show you guys the easy method of what I do using just one product to change the game. Okay. I'm going to be able to run my fingers through my hair. I'm back like I never left in under 10 minutes. If you need an easy method of how to detangle your matted hair, then make sure you stay tuned for the whole video. Give this video a thumbs up if you're natural and you can definitely relate with all of this. Don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Without further ado, let, let's get to it. I'm showing y'all the real, the real. A lot of you guys think that my hair be so perfect and so beautiful. Y'all look, look, look. I can't even get the scrunchie out. My hair is so matted that it's tangled around the scrunchie. This is the uncut version of Simply Shell's hair when Simply Shell don't do right by her hair. This is what it's given. Straw, okay? It's snapping. If I if I pull it hard enough, it's gonna snap. There's no, there's no moisture here. Sometimes the way we detangle our hair is not the right way, okay? Everybody does what they do when it comes to their hair, but if you're experiencing a lot of breakage and shedding, you may be detangling your hair the wrong way. So that's where I come in at. First things first is you never, 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 ever 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 want to detangle your hair when it's dry that's the worst thing that you can do you're setting yourself up for breakage first thing that helps me out that when my hair is at this state i'm going to section my hair off the best way to detangle your hair especially if you have very thick hair to detangle your hair in sections don't ever just try to comb your hair brush your hair without separating because you're going to create a whole bunch of mess and it's just going to be painful you're going to get aggravated you're going to be stressed out brush is going to break your comb is going to break so once my hair is separated now it's giving me something to work with now i'm not so overwhelmed okay working in small sections allows me to take my time and separate my hair instead of pulling it making my hair get more down here than it needs to be no as you can see right here my ends are super dry and i can barely separate my hair if i separate it it's crunching listen listen First thing that I always do whenever I try to detangle my hair is to apply some water to it. You guys know how important water is to your natural hair. It is the first and most important ingredient to moisturizing your hair. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just saturate my hair and I am going to, we're going to see what it do. Water, water, water. And I have warm water in this bottle. One, two, you can also add aloe vera juice in this. You can also add coconut oil or olive oil just to give it more of a uh, slippery feeling. Water does the trick for me every single time. My roots get more knottier than my ends and I don't even want to attempt to comb my hair out or brush it. Once my hair is nice and saturated, I just try to work it through with my fingers gently. We're not gonna use no tools yet. You wanna first try to use your fingers as your first method before using any styling tools because that prevents less breakage. So as you can see, just with water, my hair is starting to soften up right here but I do have a couple of pieces that are matted together. So when you see pieces like this, instead of you just taking your comb and trying to like comb it out, just take your fingers gently and pull softly. Just take your time. Yes, it's tedious. Prepare yourself for this because you caused this, okay? You can't blame nobody but yourself. Gently separate from my ends. You never wanna start from your roots and pull it apart. You wanna gently remove any of the knots that you see. Sometimes we get those fairy knots you know the ones that them little balls that get stuck at the bottom of your ends and you're like i'm gonna have to cut this just take your time with your fingers and just try to separate it so much easier because the water then softens your hair and allows your strands to be more flexible once i felt like i tackled them ends this is the key okay i'm about to i'm about to change the game for y'all right now this next ingredient has saved my life okay it has saved my hair in many different situations especially when I have let my hair get out of control and out of whack. This right here, you see her? I can't live without this. This is the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moist Conditioner. When I tell you this is magic in a bottle, I don't care how matted, how dry, how crunchy your hair is. You need this in your life. It's literally under $5. Don't just get one bottle. We, we buy them in bundles because this is a game changer and I'm gonna show you guys right now. What I do is I take a generous amount 
and I mean generous. And I'm gonna start from my roots all the way down to my ends. Working it through. If you feel like you didn't put enough on there, girl, put some on there. This is gonna speed up the process, okay? Once I feel like my hair is nice and coated with the conditioner, I'm gonna go back in with my water and I'm gonna spray it just a little bit more just to activate it and look just like that in seconds. Look at that. I can now officially run my fingers through my hair without feeling any type of my head going back, screaming. It's just going through with ease. I don't know what's in this, but we're not gonna ask no questions. It saves my life every single time. Once my hair is coated and I can finger detangle it, I then go in with my detangler brush. As of now, this is my favorite brush that I've been using. This is the I Detangle Olive Garden brush. And when I tell you this brush is for thick, coarse, kinky hair, it does what it needs to do. It is literally about I think I paid about $26, but let me tell you something. During my natural hair journey, I have used the Denman brush, Tangle Teasers, any and every brush, and there is no comparison. When you're detangling your hair, the worst thing that you can do is detangle it on dry hair, and the worst thing you can do is try to detangle it from your roots. You always wanna start from your ends, very gently from your ends, and then you work your way up. And think about the amount of pain that you feel when you just try to detangle your hair from your roots. You're in a rush and you need to just get your hair done and you're just pulling it. What you're gonna do is create more knots and tangles in your hair. So you wanna start from the bottom of your hair and don't ever, ever detangle your hair without a wide tooth comb or without a brush with wide bristles. What I love about these bristles is that it's very flexible. So it bends and it moves as I'm trying to detangle my hair. Some of the other brushes are very hard and the bristles don't move as I'm doing it, so it pulls my hair. You know you're pulling your hair out when you hear that crunch and that snag and that snap. You don't wanna do that. And then I gently work my way up until I get to my roots. I'm very careful and I take my time, but as you can see, I'm now able to literally detangle my hair with ease. Main tip is to really just take your time when you're detangling because you don't want to rush this process and you don't want to put your hair in a situation of stress and you don't want to pull out more hair than you need to. We need to hold on to this good good, okay? Super soft, super moisturized, and boom. So once all the tangles are out, I'm just going to take my hair and twist it up and move on to the next section. that we done did all of that. I did this in literally 10 minutes, y'all. Six days of me not detangling my hair and this is all of the hair that I lost. The reason being is because of how I detangle my hair. You have to take your time when you do this. You cannot rush through the process. If you feel like you're gonna have to rush, wait for a day where you have more time because you can really cause more damage to your hair than you actually realize if you just detangle your hair the wrong way. When your hair is wet, your hair is the most fragile as well. So you wanna make sure that even though you are detangling your hair, make sure you use a conditioner that has some type of slip in it. Do not try to just detangle your hair with water. 
you know, water is just gonna help you to loosen up your curls, but you need something that's heavy with that slip slip, okay? I'm back like I never left, moisture is here. I'm gonna give you a quick pointer. If it's wash day for you and you just went through this whole process of detangling your hair, you don't wanna just take it out and shampoo your hair. It can cause your hair to get matted again. I highly suggest that you wash your hair in sections just like this so you can run your hair underneath the water, rinse it out, and then you can take your shampoo and just shampoo your hair in sections just like this with the twist in it which is going to keep your hair intact preventing it from getting matted and knotted and your wash day is going to be one two three i will see three minute miracle is a game changer i promise you it's very affordable if you want to get your hands on some and you don't know where you can get it from i'm about to tell you right now but i'm also link it walgreens cvs dollar general or the dollar stores except for dollar tree Grocery stores, everywhere you go, beauty supply stores, there's no excuses. So I don't want y'all asking me, where can I get this from? Right now, I'm just going to rinse it out. I'm going to show you guys how my hair looks once I take them out. Look at that. Don't play with me. You would have never thought that my hair was in the state that it was. I can comb through it. I can... I detangle my hair when it gets matted. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know if this method works for you. Follow me on all my social medias. That will be down in the description, as well as all the items I used in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.